Good evening and welcome to Crestview High School, where tonight WSM brings you a non-conference matchup between two teams ranked highly in the state of Ohio, the number six ranked Indians from Fort Recovery and the number three ranked Knights from Crestview. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play. alongside Jeff Overholder, the prior color commentary. Jeff, it's a non-conference matchup. Both teams have huge league matches this week, but a very interesting non-conference matchup tonight. Yeah, you're looking at a team for Crestview and the team for Fort Recovery getting close to the halfway point of the season. They're getting into the meat grind of their schedule, and tonight's going to prove to which one is going to come out on top. Travis Guggenbiller's Fort Recovery Indians are undefeated on the season. They are 8-0. They are 3-0 in, in the Midwest Athletic Conference play. And they have a very talented player returning. That would be Mara Pearson. She's a 5'11 senior. And, Jeff, she's one of those kind of stat stuffer types. She kills the ball. She has aces. She has digs. She's a very talented player, is Mara. And she was a second-team all-conference player a year ago in the MAC. Yeah, Mara Pearson with 110 digs. That is number one for the Fort Recovery team. Second in kills with 77. And on the other side, a couple of players for Tammy Gregory's team that really stands out. First of all, Maya Etzler, the 6'3 senior who is headed to Ashland to continue her volleyball career. She also has a lot of stat numbers, including those 104 kills on the season. Yeah, and probably another one you could probably throw in there would be Callie Gregory, yep. who is number one in kills, number one in aces, number one in assists for the Crestview Knights. Kelly Gregory will be going to St. Francis in the Fort Wayne to continue her athletic career, but she will do so in basketball. And uh, Maya, Maya Etzler will be playing volleyball at Ashland. Our officials this evening uh, on the stand tonight will be Ann Ellerbrock, our R1, and on the floor, Bernard Motika will be our R2. Fort Recovery will be on the right side of your screen this evening. They are in the white uniforms with purple trim. Crestview will be on the left side of your screen. They are in red with blue trim. The Liberos for each team wearing blue for the Crestview Knights will be Ellie Klein. She wears number eight, it's a 5'5 five, five junior. And the uh, Libero for Fort Recovery is in purple this evening, and that would be Callie Wendell. She is a senior and has 107 digs for her team this year. What I like about this, Jeff, you could play anybody on a non-conference matchup. Nope, let's go challenge ourselves and see if we can get better. And get into some state-ranked teams. That's what Fort Recovery is going to get into this week. And, of course, you also get in the meat grinder with uh, Crestview and their schedule as well. Here's Kayla Heitkamp. She will be our opening server today. Non-conference volleyball from Crestview High School to the libero. This will be set by Gregory. Etzler hits. Back set, and that first kill of the match will go to Kennedy Mullenkamp. We find that middle part of the back row. And to serve again will be Kayla Heitkamp. Kayla will set, and then she will serve, and then become the setter. She sets again. That hit goes off a blocker, and the kill goes to Adeline Figley. And we're tied at one early on. And to serve will be Adeline. She's a 5'10 junior. Good serve to the libero. Tight camp set. The ball is tipped sideways by uh, Paige Luthold, and Paige missed the sideline. It's 2 1 Crestview. Here's Figley to serve again. 15 aces for her on the season. Here's the set, back set this time. Good hit by Mara Pearson. And then a big hit by Casey Gregory. And it's 3-1 Knights. JV game tonight was won by Fort Recovery, 25-13, 25-19. And we're in the opening stages of set one for the varsity match as Figley serves again off the top of the net. High camp sets. Ball was hit long by Kennedy Mullenkamp. It is 4-1. It's a nice opening run by Crestview. To Barrow Wendell. From the back row, kill attempt by Tegan Fortcamp. And then this will be Casey Gregory. Good volley at this point. Just dumped over that time by Callie Gregory, and back at you. 
Gregory pushes to an open spot. And and finds yeah. the open spot. Nice That's shot. Great vision. Pushed the ball to the backcourt. Four points on service, five points total in this run for Adeline Figley. Ball is saved. It's going to be hit over by Pearson. Here's a set. Pushed to the back row by Etzler. Back set and tipped. That was tipped by Kennedy Mullenkamp. And that's off the net, and it landed on the wow, line. What a shot. It rolls from the top of the net and finds it just inside the line. 6-1 Crestview. That means timeout for recovery. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Loddix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. At that early scoreboard, it's 6-1 Crestview. Taking me to serve again. And ball's blocked by Etzler at the net. Wow. Maya at 6-3. Climbed the ladder and sent it back. The Indians with seven seniors and four juniors. And it missed the end line, so the service run comes to an end by Figley, but not before her team was able to put up a 7-1 lead. Crestview with only two seniors and six juniors, so right now, Crestview has the upper hand. The ball's blocked. Hit over by Fort Camp. And getting it in in the back corner was Casey Gregory. It was 8-2. Right, Gregory, only 5-5 five, five freshman. Found the corner. Nice shot. 32 kills for her coming into the season, and she will serve. <laughs> Set. And pounded it down the line was Tegan Fortcamp, but she missed the sideline. It is 9 2 Knights. Crestview's only loss this year was a 3 2 game to Coldwater here in this facility of the MAC Conference. Fortcamp again, she tips it this time. Here's a libero will set. That's Klein and pushed over. Back set. Good kill attempt by Kennedy Mullenkamp. And this will be played over by Kennedy Kreider. That's blocked. And blocked again. Yep. Maya Etzler is becoming a net block. Man. From her center position. It's 10 2 early on. Knights. Casey Gregory will serve again. Height camp sets. This will be Tegan Fort Camp. And then Callie Gregory. That goes off the block of Sage Lupo. So Callie Gregory with another kill. Another point for Crestview. It is 11-2 early on here. This will be uh, Fort Camp again. And she gets it to the libero and gets a point out of it as Ellie Klein Makes a diving effort, but I'm unable to keep the ball in play. And that ends a four-point run. Oh, boy, this is a part of runs between yeah. these two here tonight. Megan Evers to serve. Set. That's blocked. That was by Tegan Fortcamp. That's the one up to hit that one. Fort Camp sent it back. Here's Evers to serve again. Senior. Set by Lichty. And then that's blocked out of bounds. Kennedy Mullenkamp was there. So was Paige Guggenbiller. And it went out of bounds. And it will go to Crestview. Haley McCoy checks in for Crestview. And going out is Ellie Klein. Here's Etzler's serve. 
Maya has 11 aces this year. What makes me nervous to see him serve underneath that backboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Heitkamp had to go a long way to get that one. This will be hit by Kreider, and it falls in. Kreider with a kill. 13-4. The rule changed a few years ago on that, Jeff. If you throw the ball up and hit that backboard, that's your fault. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's going to be our first ace of the match. It's 14-4 as Maya Etzler has our first ace of the match, and we're going to get another timeout, this one again by the Fort Recovery Indians. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple. I'm looking over at Jacob. Jacob, is it Roku, Roku? You guys make fun of me. Roku, I got it correct. Jacob O'Neill here. <laughs> He is polite, Jeff. The, the yeah. ladies who work at WSN, they're on me all the time because I pronounce that incorrectly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I got one right hey, for a change. Right. There you go. It, somebody's getting it right right now because the Crestview Knights have <laughs> up, mm. up 14 to 4, and they have forced a second timeout by the Fort Recovery Indians. They've had runs of 7, 4, and now they're on a three-point run. Here's that sort of serve again. I was going to say, this uh, volleyball is nothing but runs. That is correct. And they break the spell with that serve that heads out of bounds. And it will be Kennedy Mullenkamp's turn to serve, the six-foot junior. Maya Etzler checks out. Ellie Klein is back in, the libero for Crestview. She has to play that ball right there. Here's a set by Lichty. Ball's hit to an open area before Gregory could get to it. And we're going to get a legal contact. We do. Double hit. Yep. Our first ball handling error of the day will go to Crestview. 14-6. And again, Kennedy Mullenkamp will serve. Get some instructions from Coach Travis Guggenbiller where he wants this serve to go. Lickley sets. God, Gregory hits. That was Kelly Gregory, and she scores a point off a contact by a Fort Recovery Indian. And in to serve will be Josie Kalwicki, 5'5", five, five, junior. That was a lot of effort right there by Gregory to pound that one right off the libero Kelly Wendell of Fort Recovery. Here's a serve. Back set, and that's hit off a blocker, but it's played by Casey Gregory. Tipped to an open area by Figley, and this will be uh, Fort Camp. And cross court is out yeah, of bounds. Hit it wide. She did. 16 6. Kolbicki to serve again. Set. That ball hit off a blocker for a point by Tegan Fort Camp. 16 7. It seems like the one that gets the hit and the, the point goes back and serves. It's kind of like in baseball. You make the great catch <laughs> yeah. and you get to come up to bat. Here's Tegan Fortcamp. Good serve. Gregory hits it over. That's your big left-handed setter. Or at least using her left hand, I guess, would be a better way to phrase it. And here she gets to serve, as we just <laughs> mentioned a moment ago. 5'10 <laughs> senior. And that serve is long, 17-8. We're talking about Fort Recovery. They have five wins at three sets to none, two wins at three sets to one. Yep. And Crestview, they've won some nice matches as well. Here's Callie Wendell, the libero to serve. And she rolls it across, but saved in the back row by Colwicky. A good dive. And that ball is hit. Are they going to keep this one alive, too? Yes, they are. Oh, Casey they, Gregory gets to that one. And winding up with the big kill that time is Pearson. Mara puts it away. It's 17-9. A couple of diving plays by Crestview, but the point goes to Fort Recovery. 
Here's Wendell to serve again. Gregory sets. Hit out of the middle by Figley. And that will be a point for the Knights, 18-9. Lickley, or excuse me, not Lickley, but the um, libero will serve Klein. Behind the 10-foot line, shot goes long by Fort Camp. And it's back to a 10-point lead, 19-9. Set. That shot was taken by Pearson. Gregory sets. And that's blocked. Somebody was in the net. Who was it? Looks like it was number four. Casey Gregory breaks the string and back to 17 now to 10. Excuse me, 19 to 10. And to serve will be the setter, Kayla Heitkamp. Mm. It is 2010. And this time it's Figley to serve. She served six points at the very beginning of this match, and that's kind of been set the tone for how the rest of the match would roll. The rest of the set would roll anywhere, but not this time. Well, that's back to back net serves. Yeah. 12 11. Here's Mara Pearson, second team all conference in the MAC a year ago to serve. And she missed as well, 21-11. Casey Gregory, she served three consecutive points in her opening service today. Tip, good placement of the ball by Tegan Fortcamp. I don't know if that was a design play or not, but she made it work. It kind of came off her hand funny, didn't it? Yeah. And then to serve will be Megan Evers with her team trailing by nine here in the opening set. Lickley will set. Etzler hits. Overpass. Joust at the net, and that one is won by Paige Guggenbiller. Check a minute to see who it was. 21 to 13. And got it in. Ace. Yes, first one in the match that will go the Indians' way. Megan Evers, who had eight before this evening, or seven before this evening, has eight now. And we're going to get a timeout this time by the Crestview Knights. We'll take a timeout also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's news to replay sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. For the first time, the Fort Recovery Indians have scored two points off of service. Obviously, they broke serve a moment ago, so three consecutive points for them. And they've cut the lead to 21-14, and Coach Gregory takes her first time out. Lickley will set. Pounded down the line and hitting it out was uh, Callie Gregory. 21-15. Well, those shots earlier were going in for Crestview, not now. Just the opposite for Fort Recovery. So service again. Gregory again. This time she tips it to an open area. Good diving play. That was done by Heitkamp. S or Gregory hit that one with some authority, and then we're going to get a miss hit ball. Now that time, uh, Kayla yep. Heitkamp was trying to do the set and well, I she, guess called a double hit or, or yeah, didn't she hit Yeah, she would, right. would dove on the floor. By the time she got up and scrambled after the ball, she couldn't get her feet quite underneath her. Really good effort by her, but it wasn't illegally contacted ball. That one is short. It's 22-16. And to serve will be Kennedy Mullenkamp. Well, this is all about momentum both ways. I, I, Jeff, I don't think there's a sport where momentum is more prominent than high school volleyball. Man. Or volleyball at any level, perhaps we should say. 
Lickley will set. And Gregory pounds it into the blockers. It's tipped to the backcourt. Casey Gregory got to that one. Here's Callie Gregory. That's off a blocker and goes out of bounds. 23-16. Hmm. Josie Kalwicki will enter. And her team needs a pair of points to take set one. Set, back set, and pounded it into Gregory. Big hit that time. 23-17. Tegan Fortcamp to serve. Callie Gregory tips it with the left hand. Wow. There you go. Coaches just love those tall setters at 5'10", who can take the ball and direct it with their left hand. And we are at set point with Callie Gregory to serve. 14 aces for her this year. Tip to an open area. Really nice place for the ball by Paige Guggenbillers. 24-18. And the libero, Kelly Wendell, will serve. She has 10 aces this year. Gregory sets. That's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds. And Crestview, whoa. Coach Guggenbiller said that was not touched. It should have been out of bounds off of Crestview. And we're going to get just a moment while our R1 explains the call to the captain. She says it was blocked out of bounds. We're going to go with that call. That makes the opening set 25-18 in favor of the Knights. Back for set two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. The Crestview Knights take our opening set today, 25-18. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Lowry Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Big opening start, uh, Jeff. It was 7 1, then it was 11 2 for the Knights. Any, of those, any stat numbers really jump off the page at you there? Well, Adeline Figley got things started with six service points, and that was early. And that proved to be the momentum that they needed when Fort Recovery tried to come back, could not in that first. Set. Now, what you and I have talked about in volleyball, okay, first one's done, we move to the second one. Yeah, it's 1-0. It's, it's, it's not 25-18, we got to make up a seven-point deficit. It's 1-0. It's Crestview gets to serve. That means Ellie Klein will serve first. What recovery, hoping for a better start. That got up into the ceiling and becomes an ace for the Crestview Knights. Ellie Klein has her first ace of the night, 11th of the season. You know, I was just looking at the Crestview last six matches, five of those matches, they have won three sets to none and won. They uh, had a three to one victory. So two hot teams. And what do we get? We got a player in the net, one of the Fort Recovery Indians. And that's and, uh, High Camp. Okay, thank you. I couldn't see our uh, R2's signal from my position. Thank you for getting that. 2 0. Knights. And missing the sideline that time would be Mara Pearson. It's 3 0. You hate to say this, but it's almost like a repeat uh, of it is. set number one for Fort Recovery. Here's Klein to serve again. And her serve crawls over the net, ace. and she's going to get another ace. Two of them out of the first four points. Just know you're living right when that happens. <laughs> Here's Ellie Klein again, and to her counterpart, Libero. This hit will be by Mullenkamp. And Figley puts it away on a good set. Adeline Figley scores. It's 5-0 early. You know, right now, Crestview looks easy. Fort Recovery looks a little tight. 
And their, their just, hits aren't as hard because they're trying to make sure they get it within the red line. They just changed service uh, receive. See if that helps them a little bit. From behind the 10-foot line, that ball was hit by Fort Camp. And then winding up for that kill and putting it away is Figley again. 6-0. And we're going to get yet another early timeout by the Fort Recovery Indians. It's 6-0 early on. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Say this, the replay sponsor is Wall Bank Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. If you enjoy the uh, instant replays put together tonight by Nick Fraley. Back on Beatty Road. Set. This hit will be by Pearson, and she gets her team on the board and stops that run. Well, Crestview with two different players with six points to start out in a set. At 6-1, this serve will be by Pearson. Mara served in the back row. Figley shots blocked for a point by Tegan Fortcamp. 6-2. Mara Pearson. 12 aces for her on the season. 77 kills, 9 assists, 110 digs. One of those all-around players. Good high toss from her. And that's going to be an ace. Yeah, once it hits the antenna, it's considered out. So that is an ace for Pearson. And now 13 on the season for her. Cuts the lead in half to 6-3. And put away big time by Etzler. Maya got a good set in the middle and put that one. There's Figley. She's the one who started this with a seven-point run. Actually, six off of service. One was a defensive play prior to that. Set. This will be Fort Camp. Keegan Fort Camp's coming alive. The 5'11 senior makes it 7'4. And entering will be Megan Evers. And Paige Guggenbiller. Almost an ace. Good placement of the ball. Casey Gregory. And Casey scores a point. Yeah, even though it went out of bounds, it was tipped by full recovery. It's Casey Gregory to serve as we get uh, Sage Luthold into the game. Sage wears number three. She's a senior hitter. That was blocked. That'd be replayed by Mullenkamp, and then it's hit short by Guggenbiller yep. to the net. Nine four. Casey Gregory again. That ball's blocked right at the net. Kennedy Kreider put, put, got both hands on it and kept it in play to make it 10-4. Maya Etzler had that good block back to the opposite side. Back set, hit, and in. Good placement of the ball by Kennedy Mullenkamp. Man, that was five. right along yeah. the line. And hit it sidearm almost to direct it to that particular spot. Kennedy will serve now, and then she'll become the setter when she's a back row player. Not the advantage of having a six-foot setter. Gregory. Here's that set. Tegan Fortcamp hits it off of two blockers, and Tegan scores. It's 10-6. You know, the one thing Fort Recovery has to watch out for, they play up, the back is open, now they play back, and then you're going to have the middle that's going to be open. So that's what Crestview can look at. Another good serve. Lickley sets. And Gregory takes a really nice set and puts that one away for her team. Good kill for her, it's 11-6. Maya Etzler will serve. 
Ayla McCoy is in for Crestview. And Ellie Klein is out. Set. Hit by Fort Camp. Tipped over. And what do we got? Player in the net. And that was number three, Callie Gregory. It's one of those situations where Coach Guggenbiller says, we got somebody in the net, and the R1 says, yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. And makes the call, or R2, excuse me. Bernie Motika, yes, we do. Got the call correct. Here's Fort Camp to serve. Boy, Crestwood has really rallied to the ball well, don't they? Trying to find mm -hmm. wood against them is difficult. And not that time, because right in the corner is where Tegan Fort Camp with the ball. It's 11-8, as close as it's been since it was 7-4. Great shot from behind a 10-foot line. Back row attack from Tegan Fort Camp, and she serves. Mm. And that will kill a rally real quick. And you stick one right into the uh, head. You know, uh, Jeff, a lot of the schools, particularly down in, the, in, in your area, really, the Shelby County League, the MAC, they play a lot of what they call risk-reward. Sometimes we're going to hit the ball there, but a lot of times we're going to hit the ball hard and make it difficult for you to play, and we hope to get more successes than failures out of it. Ball's pushed to the open area by Figley, but saved. Dumped over by Cameron Mullenkamp, and then pushed back over right. by Gregory. Well, we're, we're just talking about yep. that they're starting to go back, and there's the open. It's a really difficult play because the ball cannot cross your nose when you play it. The officials refer to it as quadrant. The quadrant closest to the uh, net is where the ball has to be contacted. If you contact it on the other side and push it across, it's a violation um, to pro for prolonged contact. So it's a, it's a difficult play. She did it very well. Good save by the libero Wendell. And that ball's hit. Is it in or out? It is out. Mara Pearson went down the line and didn't get the call. So Josie Kowicki will continue to serve for Crestview. And not keeping it in play that time, but she got it long. It's 14-9. And to serve will be the libero, Callie Wendell. Gregory sets. That ball is blocked and get a point out of it. That point goes to Mar, Mar Pearson. It's 14-10. Sage Luthold on the block for Fort Recovery. Matter of fact, Cameron Mullenkamp, a freshman, is in for the first time for Fort Recovery. Gregory pushes it to the open spot. Oh, man. Good shot. Kelly Gregory. And Kelly will serve. Future St. Francis basketball player for her college career. She set that ball, and Figley hits, but she hits it right to the libero Wendell. This will be Pearson hits. Gregory pushes it over again. Wendell gets to that one. Here's Mullenkamp set. And they get a kill out of it. Is that Luth Hold that got that one? I believe it yeah. was. I had the officials between me and uh, the contact. I think it was Sage. You are correct. And in now will be Kayla Heitkamp. She will serve, and then she will set from the back row. Gregory sets, and putting it in. That kill was by Figley. Adelins had a really nice game, has the 5'10 junior. And we're back to the libero, Ellie Klein, to serve. As we've been through one rotation. Ellie gets another ace. That's three of them in this set. It's 17-11. She had 10 in their first nine matches and has three of them in this set alone. Here's Heitkamp's set. This is Pearson. 
She hits it off a blocker and gets the ball to the back wall, and she scores. 17-12. And Mara will serve. Back set, Figley's block. Good effort by Tegan Fortcamp. 17-13. They've got it to four several times. The closest it was was 11-8. Let's see if they can get it to three again. From behind a 10-foot line, Figley set. Tegan Fortcamp hit it down the line. It's out. Yeah, I was looking to see if anybody at the net touched it. Nobody did. It's 18-13. It stays at five. That's the old official in me, Jeff. You look at both line <laughs> judges and both officials before you make a call. <laughs> Back set. Hit. And who's in the net? It was uh, yeah. Kennedy Mullenkamp for yeah. recovery. I think her follow through on the kill. Took it into the net, and we are going to get Fort Recovery's second timeout of this set. They trail 19-13 in this set, too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for the sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Second time out for Coach Travis Grugenbriller. Set, tip. Gregory got to it. This will be set for Casey Gregory. And Heitkamp will set again out of the middle to Luthold. It's blocked by Etzler, and she gets a point. It's 2013. Figley hits. Back set. And blocked by Etzler again. And what kept alive by Kreider. And then good hit by Fort Camp. Casey Gregory, that's blocked. Gregory pushes it to the back row. Good play by the libero window. This is a great point here. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets is going to get the momentum very quickly. And what a play right there. by Etzler. Oh, what do we got? Somebody in the net. Looks like it is. My Etzler was yeah. in the net. Was That was the call. Wow. It was 2014. The that ball goes. That a good shot. And the ball will go to the Fort Recovery Indians and Megan Evers to serve. The team down by six. Mm. 21-14. If you're Crestview, Fort Recovery, good. I was going to say, if you're a Fort Recovery fan, you really wanted that to happen. If you're a Crestview fan, you're going, thank you very much. We can continue to chalk up the points. Case with Gregory. Fort Camp. Tegan hits it through two blockers mm. for a point. Good shot by Tegan Fort Camp on the double block. 21 15. Fort Recovery trying to win an MAC championship. They have won in their school's history. That was in 1989. And they are 3 0 in the MAC with a big week coming up. We'll talk about their schedule in just a moment. It is 22 15. They have huge matches this week. They are at home with Coldwater on Tuesday night, and then they will go to Maria Stein to play Marion Local on Thursday. Of course, whenever it's a MAC night, Jeff, it's a big night. It's and a big they, one. They, six of their teams were ranked in the state a week ago. 22-16. We were down at uh, Coldwater last Thursday. The league had won 70% of non-conference matches. Actually, there are five. Five of them this week? Five of them, yeah, this week that are ranked. Back set, pushed over by Kreider. And Kennedy Kreider put the ball in 
perfectly in an open spot, makes it 23-16. Knights two points away from taking the second set. And Josie Kalwicki will enter eight aces for her, and she will serve and then play in the back row where she has 54 digs this year. Set. Pearson. Mm, that was with authority. Laura Pearson wound up and got after that one. The last four times that Fort Recovery has served, they've not been able to score a point. They need to change that here to get back in this one. Gregory hits. Good play by Mullenkamp from the back row, Fort Camp. Figley's shot is blocked out of bounds. A couple of blockers there, but unable to keep it in play, and it is set point. 24-17, Kelly Gregory will serve. Pearson, she hits it through two blockers and gets a point. They've gone to her the last couple of times. Mm -hmm. Between Fort Camp and Pearson. Yeah. And here comes uh, Kayla Heitkamp to serve. At 24-18. Gregory sets. It's tipped to an open spot. Heitkamp will set this one. And hitting it just long off the back line was Kennedy Mullenkamp. And set two will also go the way of the Crestview Knights. This time it will be 25-18. Set three coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball, WOSN. We're back at Crestview. The Knights have taken the opening two sets, both by 25-18 scores. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 2444 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Mark Schein, Jeff Overholzer. Jeff, what kind of numbers have you got there? Anything jump off the page at you? I see three aces by Ellie Klein. That was one. Yeah, I was looking at Ellie Klein. She has eight service points in the first two sets. Three aces and one more ace for Maya Etzler for Crestview. And for Fort Recovery, they have just uh, one ace that I have down. That's from <laughs> Mara Pearson. Yep. But well, you know, you're, you're looking at the Division Three, which Fort Recovery is in right now, right sixth. And then Crestview is in Division Four. Right. right. Even though they're in different divisions, you don't think that they take this thing too seriously. They do. Well, as you mentioned before we went on the air today, the tournament draws on October 8th. And matches like this, every coach looks and see how, how are you doing in some of your non-conference matchups? And this will be one that they'll point to for both schools. Now, I know it's a little bit down the road, but sectional play starts October 16th. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings. For more sports and teams than anyone in the state, check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. And as we go to set three, that means Kayla Heitkamp will serve. And opening mm -hmm. point goes to Etzler right out of the middle. That has been the uh, kind of the mantra tonight, hasn't it? They've scored early and, and then kind of uh, stabilized, but played uh, from there on out with a lead in each set. And Adeline Figley, who started off in set one, is back in set three, has started off for Crestview. Three balled over. Here's Gregory sets. You know, you can't get a better pass, a better set, and a better kill than what you just saw right there from I. Etzler. Off the set from Callie Gregory and a good pass from the back row. Here's Figley to serve again at 2-0. Float serve this time. Fort Camp goes and gets it, then Pearson hits, and Mara gets a point. So it's going to be 2-1. That's a better start than they've had the mm -hmm. last two sets. Say, what was it, 7-1 and 6-1? Yes, it was. Something like sets 1-2. Yeah, that's the way it was, and this will be... Pearson to serve and hit it long. It is 3 1. That is exactly correct. That's how it's gone. We're going to get a sub in. As number seven, Emily Lichty will come in. Emily will then become the server, or become the setter, I should say. 
Casey Gregory to serve. High camp sets. Hit out of the middle by Etzler. High camp will set again. This time she sets Fort Camp. Here's Lickley set and Callie Gregory. Hit it into two blockers and the point will go to Fort Recovery. No, I'm sorry, it'll go to Crestview, 4-1. Blockers hit it, but hit it out of bounds. Here's Gregory, Casey, the freshman. Ace. Another ace. The fifth one for her team tonight makes it 5-1, and they have scored five out of the first six points. Her 10th ace of the season. Mullenkamp hit that ball. Lickley will set Gregory. And four recoveries in the net, and that will be that will be 6-1. Mm -hmm. First set was 7-1, second set 6-1, third set 6-1. Timeout for recovery. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Today's the replay sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. A loud ex jewelry scoreboard shows that Crestview has once again jumped out to a lead in set three, this time 6-1. Talked about Crestview Knights, kind of expected that from them this season. They were 9-0 in the conference play a year ago in 2021. They tied Lipsick and Lincoln View at 7-1, trying to get their third consecutive league championship. And... That point will go to Crestview. It is 7-1. Yeah, I think taking four camp hit that one right into the net. Of course, Crestview was also in the state tournament a year ago, losing to Bremen in a four-set match. And returns everybody off that team. Good set. Gregory hit it. This will be set by Wendell. Diving play by Gregory. There's another set by Wendell. And Gregory gets to that one again. This will be Callie Gregory, and Callie gets a point. It's 8-1. Two good passes by Casey Gregory. Two good sets, and finally, Callie Gregory gets the point. And Casey will serve again. And ace. ace for her. It is 9-1. Second ace for her in this service rotation. I think it's proved in each of these sets a good, good start for Crestview. Crestview back in league action. They go to Spencerville on Tuesday. They're home with Columbus Grove on Thursday. Both teams in league action twice this week. Gregory blocked that one. It is 10-1. Eight consecutive points have gone the way of the Knights. Here's Gregory to serve again. Set. Tegan Fortcamp hit it to the libero, but we get a Knight in the net. I think they got Etzler. Yep. Stops the run at 10-2. And eight consecutive points. Here's Kenzie Garkey to serve. Her first efforts this evening. And she got a hand on that one, but wasn't able to control it. It's 11-2. And it will be my Etzler's turn to serve. She has an ace back in the opening set. High camp sets. And unable to get it across that time was Paige Guggenbiller. It is 12-2. WSN will be back here at Crestview on the 30th of September, the Night Invitational Volleyball Tournament. One of the really good tournaments that we cover every year here at WOSN. That'll be on the 30th on a Saturday, and the matches will air the following Sunday night. Wendell will play this one from the back row, the hit. Lichty sets that one, and I think she illegally contacted it. She did. Double hit. Yep, it's 
Surprisingly enough, as good as Crestview Volleyball has been, they have never won their own Invitational. 20, Seriously. 22 years they have not won their own. You're talking own about a team like this and, and they haven't won and, the and Invitational. When you look at who's going to be here this weekend, or that weekend, that ball was hit across by Gregory and gets the ball back for her team. We will be here for the semifinals and the finals that day as Josie Kowicki enters. We're talking about some good teams, though. Oh, the, my, the always. Uh, South Adams comes here, I think, from Indiana. St. Henry will be here. Ottawa Glandorf is usually here. That point's good. That kill goes to Tegan Ford Camp. 13-4. Gives her 10 kills for so far in this match. I've not seen the uh, the roster for this year. Typically, Norwalk, St. Paul, and Hopewell Loudon come across mm. the state. We'll see if that proves true again this year. Gregory with that surprise play at the net is 14-4. For recovery has served four times in this set, has not won a point on any of those four service opportunities. Callie Gregory with 13 kills. And her serve missed the back line. It is 14-5. Kelly Wendell will serve. Gregory sets. That was Figley's hit out of the middle. Back set. Pushed over by Carly Niekamp. Figley tips again, and Gregory just pushes it over. Here's the set. Pearson hits and gets a point out of it. So for the first time, they score on service here in set number three, makes it 14-6. And Kelly Wendell will serve. Gregory sets. She sets her sister in case he puts it away. It is 15 6. Ellie Klein, three aces for her back in set two. Pearson hits again and got it right down the line. 15 7. Kayla Heitkamp will enter to serve and set. She replaces Carly Niekamp. Good serve for her. Figley just pushes it across and will get a point for her effort. Crestview is very adept at that, Jeff. Mm. It's finding the open area and two-handing the ball, or in the case of Gregory at the front row, just one-handing it to open spots. Here's high camp set. Pearson again. And going all the way across and underneath the net was Callie Gregory. Had a long run. Tried to get her hands on the ball and then went under all the way across the line. And we're going to get our second timeout by Coach Travis Guggenbiller. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Jeff, we talked about uh, Fort Recovery. You know, they come out of the MAC Conference. Friday night, the WSN cameras and crew will be in Marion Local, where the undefeated Marion Local Flyers will match up with the undefeated Versailles Tigers. Wow. And that yeah. will air Saturday night on WOSN. I know it sounds a little Maybe far-fetched, but I'm sitting here watching this, and Crestview is doing everything they've wanted to do and have taken away everything that Fort Recovery has wanted to do. So it's almost like they put the Indians on their heels tonight. Not yeah. quite sure what to expect. Where's the ball going to go when? Adeline Figley will serve. Crestview has just played extremely well this evening with a 10-point lead here at 17-7, and Fort Recovery has called both their timeouts. Good serve. Pearson free balls it over. 
And Etzler pounds the ball into Tegan Forkamp, and then Maya Etzler uh, got him. She's in the net. Okay. Waiting to see what that the call was. That was a little was. delayed. You're right. You, you, they yeah. look at each other and make sure they got the right call. Uh, my first thought was she contacted the ball before it got into the plane of the net, but the call was she was actually in the net. Here's Pearson to serve. Gregory saved it. Good serve that time. It's 17 9. Gregory's a back row player. She couldn't hit that one over. And serve long. 18, uh, not 18 9. The last week when we heard Crestview, we were talking about how the old days where they only went to 15. Boy, it seemed like it took forever to get a point. Well, you had that. You had to serve to score. Yeah. And some of those matches, that just didn't happen. There's a kill that goes to Tegan Fortcamp. It is 18-10. Now, if you serve and you mess up, that gives yeah. the other team a point. And in the serve will be Kenzie Garkey, senior. She has five aces this year. So Kenzie can get something going for her team. Coach Guggenbiller's tried a lot of bodies today trying to get something going. Lickley will set. A little miscommunication between Klein and, and uh, Gregory. And it is 18-11. Ball, that will be an ace. It just rolled right up on Cal uh, Casey Gregory. So Kenzie Garkey does get an ace, her sixth of the year. And gets another serve. Set, hit. Maya Etzler puts it away and ends the string at three. It is 19 to 12. And Maya Etzler will serve. 104 kills, 11 aces, two assists, and 17 digs on the season for her. High camp sets. It's tipped to an open area. And they try to keep it alive, but can't. Really nice place for the ball by Paige Guggenbiller. Makes it 19-13, and Kennedy Mullenkamp serves. Lickley will set. Ford Camp. That was a really good set by the libero Callie Winder and Tegan Fortcamp scores. The lead is down to five. The last time it was five, it was 6-1. Fort Recovery making another run at it. And that pass is a little bit long and the set wasn't quite where it needed to be. And with that, it's a four point lead. Timeout Crestview. Here come the Indians. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app. So make sure you download it today and stay up to date with all the scores. Our Loudex Jewelry scoreboard, 19-15 in favor of the Knights. Here in set three, and blocked with the net. That came back from Paige Guggenbiller. It is 19-16. Four consecutive points, seven out of the last eight have gone the way of Fort Recovery. Here's Kennedy Mullenkamp again. Set. I think that was done illegal. illegal. Yep. You could kind of see that coming. Her feet weren't quite set that time. And this has been five consecutive points for number 11, Kennedy Mullenkamp. That will come to an end when the ball got into the net. But still a good service run for her. And she served four out of those five points. And it's now a three-point game here in set three. 
Josie Kowicki. Back set. And hit off a blocker and a point that will go to uh, Te uh, Tegan Fortcamp. That, all, that went off of Figley. Crestview. Here's Tegan to serve. 98 kills, 21 aces, three assists, and 82 digs for her on the season. Good all around play. This is Figley's hit. Saved in the back row. Figley's going to get another opportunity because off a blocker. That also is played by Fort Camp. And Pearson hits. Gregory hits it right to the libero. And she gets a point for her efforts. It's 21 18. Mark Pearson tried the same thing that Gregory tried. Yep. Gregory was successful, and Pearson hits it into the net. Kelly Gregory tipped to an open area, but right there is Casey Gregory. And another illegal contact. Yes, it was. 21-19. Got to contact the ball with both hands and release it with both hands at the same time. And do so without having prolonged contact. That time with hands left at the different times. Almost an ace. Casey Gregory hits to the back row where Fort Camp plays it. This will be Pearson, hits it into a blocker. And the and tried, hit it back over and hit it right into the net. 22 19. Ellie Klein to serve. Camp plays. Pearson hits that one. Long. 23-19. That was close. She's had two mm. balls that have just missed the back line here in the last five or seven points. Both ways have gone away of the Crestview. Klein serves again and hit it long. It's 23-20. The only thing this assures is it's not going to end in the first two sets. It's the same, same score. Yeah, that's right. It was 25-18. Both opening sets. Here's a high camp to serve. <laughs> Kayla. Good serve. Ace. Kayla gets an ace. 23-21. Her first ace of the evening, 15th of the season. It's going to be a Crestview night timeout. Of course, Gregory sees the lead has dwindled to two. And gets the timeout. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv, also available on Roku and on Apple TV. Mark Shine Jeff Overholzer here from Crestview Ray Etzler Gymnasium, and Ray's sitting on the baseline down here. You think if the gym's named after you, you gotta buy a ticket? I would think Probably so. Probably not. No, I, I wouldn't. I would think not. so. You know what? I know Ray for a long, long time. I'll bet he buys a ticket anyway. Probably does. That's that kind of guy. It's going to go to the athletic department. That's true. This will be Kayla Heitkamp to serve. Her team trails by two points here in set three. Gregory sets. Etzler hits. Gregory has to push it to the back row, where it's played by Fort Camp. Pearson hits. Figley hits. Good pass, good set, good kill. And Crestview is a point away from taking this one. And to serve will be Adeline Fangling. Figley. She began set one with a tremendous service run. Let's see if she can end the match with this serve right here. Fort Recovery fighting to stay alive. Here's Pearson. And Mara Pearson says, not yet. It's 24-22. And Mara will serve. Yeah, I was going to say, gets the, gets the kill, yep. goes right back, and yeah, gets ready for the, the serve. She, she has an ace today. Set, kill, put away. Etzler in the middle off a pass from Gregory. And the Crestview Knights will take set number three, 25-22. And they will take the match three sets to nothing. Won the opening set 25-18. The second set also went 25-18. And that one was 25-22. Any final numbers, Jeff? Now, Maya Etzler finished with uh, 10 kills, but 
Callie Gregory finished with a total of 13 kills. Uh, Ellie Klein with 10 service points, and three of those were service aces. Crestview, uh, Tegan Fortcamp had a total of 13 kills in the matchup in this one. Not much as far as uh, the point totals, but uh, you know, you're, people are going to look at this and go, wow, Crestview and three over an undefeated Fort Recovery team. I'll tell you one thing right now, Fort Recovery with all those yeah. seniors, they're going to say, you know what, we got spanked, but we're yeah. going to come back. Absolutely. And Crestview, you can look at them and say, wow, we've really put things together and we're hitting on all cylinders at this point. If you are the Fort Recovery Indians, your season drops to eight and one, but you are still three and zero in the MAC and you can learn a lot of lessons from this evening. And I right. think this is gonna be a very good Fort Recovery team throughout the rest of the season. And I think you're gonna see a very, very good Crestview team wow. too. I think so too. They've went to nine and one. They are two and zero in the uh, Northwest Conference as well. I wanna thank our sponsors this evening. That has been our scoreboard sponsor, Loudix Jewelry. And our instant replay sponsor tonight has been Wabash Mutual Telephone. We were met today when we got here by Austin Fleming, the athletic director. And Jeff, there's a lot of good athletic directors around, and he's certainly one of them. Appreciate Austin. All he does Absolutely. for us. Absolutely. Jacob O'Neill will take this back to the station. And when he gets back there, after doing all of his work here, camera and audio, Nick Fraley will take this and edit it all together so that you can view it. The Crestview Knights will take a 3-0 win over the Fort Recovery Indians. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.